I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll analyze a given function uh, for the asymptotes and we'll also discuss the behavior of the function near the asymptotes. Let me give you an equation to work with. Let us say we have a function f of x equals to x minus 3 plus 1 over x plus 4. Right. So I've purposely taken some simple equation like this so that we can understand how to find asymptotes from such an equation and see the behavior of the curve near the asymptotes. Right? So if you have a function which is x minus 3 plus 1 over x, you could also see this function as, uh, we can cross multiply and write this as x plus 4 in the denominator and then x minus 3 times x plus 4 plus 1, right? So that's kind of rational function where degree of numerator is one higher than that of the denominator, quadratic, that's linear, right? So what do you expect? You expect an oblique asymptote from this situation, right? Now the denominator itself is 0 for x equals to minus 4, so you expect a vertical asymptote. So as far as the asymptotes are concerned, uh, we expect two types of asymptotes in this situation, right? Let me write down these asymptotes. So, first asymptote which you can see is, let me write this as an oblique asymptote, right? And the other one is vertical asymptote. The equation for oblique asymptote when we write like this is, is this part. You see that x minus 3, so we can write y equals to x minus 3 as the equation of oblique asymptote. And equation for vertical asymptote is the denominator being 0, which is x equals to minus 4, right? So these are the two asymptotes for the given rational function, correct? Right? Now, let us analyze behavior near asymptotes. So let's now discuss behavior. So what we have really is, let me sketch here and then we'll discuss the behavior as we move on. So we have x minus 3 as uh, oblique asymptotes. So minus 3 means there will be a straight line uh, which represents x minus 3. So this is minus 3 for us. Okay. And the vertical asymptote is minus 4. So let us say this is minus 4 for us. Okay. So this is uh, minus 4. So that's the vertical asymptote. When we say behavior near the asymptote, then as far as the oblique asymptote is concerned, we will analyze the end behavior. That is to say, what happens to the graph of the function as x approaches minus infinity or when x approaches plus infinity? This is what we are trying to analyze. So when x approaches minus infinity, in that case, this quantity is going to be negative, right? So we are taking away something, right? So, so in that case, we will say that f of x is less than uh, x minus 3 x minus 3 is our oblique asymptote, right? So that means that, uh, well, uh, uh, what, uh, let me push this page a bit here. Now, that really means that uh, the function is approaching towards, let me push this a bit more, is approaching from below, right? So below the line, so that is what it means. But if we consider the function x approaching positive infinity. In that case, this part will be positive, right? So in that case, f of x will be greater than uh, x minus 3, right? Because you add something to it, right? So that means you will be approaching from above, correct? So that is how you'll be approaching. So that is how you're going to approach the oblique asymptote when you approach negative infinity and positive infinity. And that could be easily seen by analyzing this fact. If this factor is positive, you are above the line. If this factor is negative, you are below the line. So that is what it really says. 
Now, as far as the vertical asymptote is concerned, let us approach minus 4 from negative and positive side, right? Now, in that case, 1 over this difference is going to be very, very, uh, I mean, this portion is going to be very, very large. So, this is negligible, correct? Now, if I write a value, which is 4, we know it's infinite. But if I'm approaching 4 from the left side, that means if we consider a point as minus 4.1, right? In that case, this quantity will be negative, right? So, since this quantity is negative, we are approaching a negative large value. So, we are going to approach like this, negative large value. However, if we consider a value which is kind of 3.9 with a negative sign, in that case, minus 3.9 plus 4 is going to be positive. So, this quantity will be positive. So, we are approaching vertical asymptote in towards positive infinity. So, what we can say here is that the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 4, I should say minus 4 from negative side is negative infinity. And limit of this function when you approach minus 4 from positive side is positive infinity, right? So that is the behavior near the vertical asymptote, right? So that is how we can actually analyze the behavior of the function near the asymptotes. I hope that is clear. Thank you and all the best.